Typically, I'm the person that gives my friends uh, gaming news. They find out things through me so they don't have to read the crap themselves. Uh, there are some people that are super close to me that I can't always be there to give them that. So this is my way of being able to leave something for them so that they can still get that information through my filter. Fil yeah. First, the news of the day. Very Nintendo heavy day in the news. Nintendo president Satoru Iwata agrees to take a pay cut due to low sales of the Wii U. Uh, this isn't the first time that he's done this. The 3DS, a uh, massive, massive price cut only six months after the system came out. He took responsibility for the poor sales of the system and like now, took a massive pay cut until the problem was solved. A lot of people didn't think the 3DS could be saved and now it is a very successful system. Not as successful as the DS, but it didn't have the iPhone or Android to worry about back then. A lot of people seem to be skeptical of whether or not Nintendo can turn it around with this system. Maybe you have to put out an entirely new system, which brings us to the next piece of news. Nintendo mentioned in a business call they intend to put out a console between 2015 and 2016, essentially within the fiscal year. They claim the system is going to be wrapped around health, health of the family, health of the individual people. A lot of people really into video games who have given the Wii U a shot really like the Wii U. There just aren't any games for it. New Super Mario Brothers U? No. Uh-uh. Now it's time for my gaming journal. Dear journal, Microsoft won't stop gouging me for money. What the fuck? I finally beat Dark Souls Day. What I didn't expect about that is that it drops you right back into the game so that the addiction can continue. I bought it for $5 uh, during some of the holiday sales. Easily one of the best $5 I've ever spent on the Xbox. So needless to say, tomorrow I'm going to go pre-order the game because the music at the last boss was awesome and I hope they make more of that and I want the soundtrack. Still tortured about PS4, Xbox One. Uh, the time's coming where I'm going to be able to get one of them. PS4 has all these indie games I want to play and I rarely have money to buy a $60 game so the $20 experiences fit my life a lot better but in terms of big exclusives... I own both the Infamous, never finished either of them. And the Xbox One has a lot of really cool exclusives that are already out, that are coming out. I'm just not sure if they can keep their crap together. It's been such a shit show for a while now. And the system seems like it's got some really cool ideas. It seems like there's a lot of neat things about it, but it's kind of clunky and they have a tendency to make UI is worse, not better. And I'm kind of tired of them selling me crap all the time. I'm at the point where I'm thinking I'm going to flip a coin and I know either one of them I'm going to be happy. So that's going to do it for today's episode. Come back tomorrow where I will have more news, some insight into gaming, and anything else that just tickles my fancy. Oh.